Putting a healthy spin on school lunch, we're joined by Sarah McDonald, a dietitian from St. Agnes Hospital with ways you can pack a fast, fun, and nutritious meal. Sarah, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Tell us a little bit about what you got going on here, and let's start with... Uh, this cool little box over here. Um, well, one of the most important things with packing a school lunch is just making sure um, you know what your kids like. If they don't like it, they're not going to eat it. So number one, know what they like and get them involved. Um, start Sunday night uh, packing up things like carrots and grapes and pretzels. Have them in baggies so that Monday morning when you get up, you just have to grab a baggie out of the fridge, stick it in the box, and you're good to go. It's, it's tough to get kids to get on board with stuff like this. Yeah, they always want to eat the chips and the cakes or whatever. How do you guys go about that and try to, to get parents to jump on board, I guess? Get them involved. I have my six-year-old and four-year-old. They pack their own carrots and grapes and strawberries. Get them Whoa. to pack it. They like it. It's well, they <laughs> That's like impressive. It, but they like it's good practicing with their counting. They like to do it themselves. So I think they're a little bit more excited about it once, you know, if they're doing it themselves. Well, your plates are very colorful there. Um, kind of give us an outline of how you designed those three different styles over there. What's that? Uh, so at St. Agnes, one of the things we really try to push is making sure that you're getting foods from each food group. Um, kids between the ages of 6 and 19 are deficient in pretty much every group. They don't okay. meet their estimated needs. Um, so just trying to have something from every food group, a straw, a fruit, a vegetable, um, a protein, a grain, and something from dairy, and of course a little treat there as well. The treat, I think, is the key. That kind of <laughs> draws them in. Okay, I can do this. Yeah. There's a treat here. Yeah, I mean, it's unrealistic to think kids aren't going to eat cookies and cakes and candy. I mean, we all do, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. Moderation is, is the biggest part of it. Quickly take us through what we got on each plate here. Um, so on this first plate here, we have chicken, and we actually cut them um, using cookie cutters. So just kind of like some fun shapes, um, some cucumbers, strawberries, some brown rice, focusing yes. on those whole grains. Um, a yogurt, and then a couple of candy corns as a little fall snack. The go yeah. that's what I would yeah. go for. Yeah, sure. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And those come in all kinds of fun flavors. <laughs> yeah. And the second one there. Um, just some turkey and a cheese stick cut up, um, some grapes, uh, carrots, pretzels, and then a couple little mini marshmallows. Oh, cool. Finger food. Finger food. Get the kids yeah. involved and let them exactly. be interactive. Exactly. Easy. And I think, like you said, your kids, they actually pack it. I mean, kids, they can do this. They can uh, pack yeah. this I stuff mean, they up. Can, they can put pretzels in a baggie or in, in carrots, grapes. Yeah, absolutely. And, and why is it so important to start this at a young age? If you, if you get them excited about it now and they like it now, it's not going to seem so foreign as they get older. It's just something that they're used to. All right. Well, great information, especially now the school year is just starting, just so starting. we can get them started right, maybe they'll continue. Exactly, exactly. All right. Hopefully, Hopefully it lasts for the whole year, right? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah McDonald, thank you so much thank for being you. here. You got the little red riding hood thing going on here, <laughs> too. Yeah. You know. Tim's going to carry that around the studio <laughs> yeah, exactly. all day now. Yeah. Why'd you have to do that? <laughs> and we'll be right back.